What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's another day in the life of a reseller. I know you guys said you like the week in the life better, but just until I can get a schedule where I'm like two weeks ahead and I can take a week to film the whole thing, then I'll go do it. But for now, we're on a schedule of like every time we upload a video, I send a new video and so on and so forth. So I don't want to get backed up and miss a week of uploading just because I was filming the whole week in the life. You guys are going to have to deal with this until I can kind of manage that a little bit better. So yeah, we have a super, super packed day today. We have to clean all these shoes, unbox these. I was going to unbox them now. The person just texted me that he wants to go meet up now. I was going to go meet up later in the day, but he said, why not come now? So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So we're going to go pick up some cash real quick and go do this meetup. It should be pretty solid if everything is real. A few moments later. All right, I'm a little tight right now, not gonna lie. I had my GoPro in my pocket before I left. And then for some reason, I had to put something else in my pocket and I took the GoPro out and I left it. So I didn't record the meetup. I'm a little tight because it was such a good deal. I wish you guys, you guys have to believe me. Like, I don't lie to you guys. I, I, bro, I literally, I was so tight. I went to go reach for my pocket to grab it to record and put the chest mount on. Like I had the chest mount on and I went in my pocket to go grab it. And there was nothing in my pocket but my phone. So that was super, super lit. But we ended up paying 1260 for everything. The deal was 1200. And then I gave Aaron's brother $60 for finding the deal. That's what we do sometimes. He finds the deal for me and then I give him some cash. But we picked these up. I don't know the breakdown yet. But just know we paid 1260 for everything. We got these Desert Sages uh, Yeezys for, I don't know what for, but they're brand new, size nine. Everything's size nine. So we got those PSG 4s. Pretty nice shoe. Again, size nine. Dude, I still can't believe I left my GoPro here. That was so annoying. I even charged it last night getting ready for today and everything. But I'll see if I can find another deal today that I can record. Midnight Navies as well. These are really clean. And then the next two pairs are Yeezys. This guy had a lot of Yeezys. We got the tail lights and a size nine as well. Or maybe these are nine and a half. Yeah, these are nine and a half. And last but not least, we have the Isra Fills. Not the, my favorite Yeezy to say the least, but you know, if you like it, you know, you do you. I'm not gonna stop you from liking a shoe. But personally, I think these are kind of booty cheeks. I don't like them at all. That's everything we got, 1260. So I'm gonna input this into my spreadsheet and then we have like three boxes to open up. Two of them are pretty big. I'm gonna go onto the computer and do spreadsheet stuff. All right, so I just updated the spreadsheet. So now I know what I paid for each pair. So Israfils, we paid 230. Tail Lights, 310. Midnight Navies, 210. PSG 4s, 310. And Desert Sages, 200. So. In total, that's $1,260, and I think that's a pretty good deal. Now, we have to pack up some stuff. Actually, no, no, no. Probably do the unboxing first, then a spreadsheet, pack up some shoes to go ship out, ship that out, and then go clean. So, let's... All right, now it is time to open these boxes, so let us do that. Uh, we're going to open this small one first. It says, from eBay, we have some Jordan 1s. We have some Chicago's. So there you guys go. I forgot what I paid on these, I have to double check. Next. Oh, this one's pretty heavy, so. It's also covered in bubble wrap or like some kind of like plastic film. Whoever sent this to me, thank you for the packaging. I don't know if you did this or the post office did that. But it is very hard to cut through. So first thing we have are some Yeezy slides, the pure slides in a size five, brand new. You can do what you want, but Sometimes people buy like used slides. I feel like that's kind of gross. You don't know for sure they don't wear socks, but like most people that have slides wear no socks. And if you get a used pair, like they're bound to be some foot juices in them. And I just feel like it's kind of grimy. So if you guys ever try to sell me some used slides, just know I'm probably gonna pass. Next shoe, we have some Jordan 1s in a size 10, some Game Royals, uh, pretty good condition, no star loss. A Little bit of dirt on the bottoms, but nothing crazy. Insole's gone, but that's it. And also comes with the extra laces as well. So that's that. I honestly don't know the price breakdown because I have to check my notes, but I think this was a pretty good deal. We got some Jordan 11s, lightly worn. We're probably gonna have to clean these up a little bit. They have a lot of sock on the insides. Next pair, silver Japan box. I forgot what these are called. Tokyo, Tokyo ones or something like that. Um, these have not gone up at all, but I think I paid pretty low on these. I think like a hundred bucks or something. Next, Ooh, let's drop everything. Got two more boxes in here. Some sixes, I think. Nope, threes. The Unite threes, pretty clean on the bottoms. All the stars are there, just a lot of sock in them. And last but not least in the box, it is the brand new Oreo 5 Moonlights. Honestly, I'm not hating, but out of all the retros, why retro this one? 
It came out what in like 2014 15 and they already gave it a retro and like a shoe That's not really in demand. It's clean. Don't get me wrong But like I feel like they could do so many better retros. That's just my two cents You know who am I to who cares about my opinion? That's that first box So I'm gonna cut the camera real quick check everything and then get back to you guys. So all right, so everything was good in that box. Uh, now we're on to the next one. It's a little smaller. You guys can see it's not as big as a box as the last one over there, but it's still a pretty decent box. So let's see what we got in it. Uh, we have some 11 and a half Jordan 1s. Another pair. I've been getting a lot of these lately, actually. Some Game Royals. Or not Game Royals. What am I saying? Gym Red 1s. A half box pair of these mids. These are interesting looking for sure. But yeah, this is probably like an outlet or something. I know these go for some bread, so I don't know what the name of it is, but definitely for some bread for sure. Some Concord breads, I think, probably, maybe. No, wrong. Some Flint 7s. I think this is my first time ever having a 7 in my inventory, but I'm pretty sure we paid low on those. Also, shout out to Bro for sending me all this stuff. LT Kicks, appreciate it. We have one more in the box. Okay, size 11, hair 6s, brand new. I have no idea what I paid, but it should have been pretty decent. It's 560 for everything, so you break that down, one, two, three, four pairs. That's like 140 a pair, so it's not bad. Now we have a absolute poop ton of shoes to get ready and take pictures of and whatnot. So I'm probably gonna go do that now. Actually, I lied. We need to go ship a few things first. I think I have like five things I need to go get out to the post office. Not the post office, UPS, but I'm gonna go do that. All right, so I just got a notification from UPS that there is a package at my front door that has been delivered. I'm gonna go get it right now and we're gonna unbox it, so let's do it. Feels like a two-piece, so let's see what we got. It's coming from Michael, so thank you, Michael, for sending this to me. Let's see, we have a sheet of wrapping paper. Ooh, nice fit, bubble wrapped very nicely. I always appreciate a nice bubble wrap. First off, looks like we have some Jordan 3 Unites in a size 12. Uh, oh, these actually look used. I don't know if these are brand new. So I have to double check. I have no idea what we paid. Oh, and he also sent me some candy. You know, I don't know you bro personally. I'm sure you're a great person, but I will probably not be eating this, but I really appreciate your offer. I just don't feel like being put on a t-shirt, but I appreciate it. Thank you though. We have another box in here as well. We have, I have no idea what this is, some Jordan 1 mids. Oh, okay, the mid Chicago's. Yeah, so we got these two, lightly worn. Uh, let me double check what I paid on these. We paid 135 on each of those pairs, so that's not bad at all. Because both of them are pretty good condition. So yeah, again, thank you bro, Ranked Up Resale for sending me that package. Um, unfortunately, I will not be eating this candy though. You know, I'm sure you're a great person, but just as a precaution, so. Thank you. That's all the pick that blah, 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 blah. that's all the pairs we have in today. I think. I don't know. We might be getting more. I don't know. But dude, we have a lot. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So we have 34 pairs that we picked up in the last like couple days. To say the least, we have a lot of work to do. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pick up the camera again after I inventory everything we just got. All right, just finished packing everything up. We have one, two, three, four, five, six packages to get out, but I am extremely famished so i'm gonna go pick up some food first uh and then we'll go drop these off so let's let's go all right so i think i decided that chick-fil-a is going to be the move today for lunch i'm going to go pick up a super holy deluxe uh sandwich and then i'll go drop off my packages is this guy going to turn or what all right package has been secured i'm going to go body this and then we're going to go drop off some packages all right all the packages have been shipped so now it's time to go home and organize everything and start cleaning some shoes because we are a little bit behind. All right, so I literally just walked through my uh, bedroom door and now I am going to go leave again to go pick up some more shoes from, uh, you might know them. You guys are going to figure it out. So let's let's go do that. All right, guys, so we just picked up um, from this guy. Oh, if you guys are wondering what I got, we got these super juicy Lightning 4s for $190. Yeah, these are heat. Yeah, these, these are heat. <laughs> They stink. Yeah, they smell like cigarettes. Yeah, they do. Bro, how do you wear them this much, like, that quick? And bro was like, let me wear these, like, 20 times. Like, let me go Let me go running in them. And we also get another pair of man size 12, bro. 
Look at that, man. What do you got to say to the kids again? Nah, nah, I'm good, man. Nothing to the kids, bro? Nah, that's right. All right, man. All right, man. Okay, hey, man, you have a great day, bro. All right, so we are back home. Uh, I'll give you guys a little better look at the Lightning 4s that we just picked up. So we picked up a size 8.5. Pretty clean. They just have like a little... Oh, dang, that sucks. They have like a little watermark on them. I think we should be able to get it out a little key. But yeah, we got these. 190. Probably make like 20 bucks on these. Not the best, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks because they're hot right now. And then we also got a size 12. Sorry about my dog in the background. But size 12, probably worn like once. Insole still intact, 205. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. 395 for both of them, not bad. Look at the stack of shoes that we've managed to pile up in the last couple days. That's a fat stack, bro. And then there's more of back there. We gotta clean and stuff. But yeah, to say the least, we got... To say the least, we have a lot of work to do. Um, unfortunately, it's not gonna be all in this video. I'm gonna have this video go pretty late tonight until I finish cleaning some shoes and stuff like that. Probably won't be getting to pictures today or selling anything really for that matter. So now I'm gonna be separating everything. Things that need to be cleaned, things that need to be cleaned and iced, things that need to be just pictures taken, and that's pretty much it. Because everything else that's pictures, uh, the picture taken, they're clean, they're on the shelves. Uh, and this shelf over here. So that's everything that's clean and has pictures taken of. But everything on the floors, like all that, and that stuff over there still needs to be cleaned and pictures taken and all that. So I'm gonna start that, separating them into piles, just so it's a little easier when I start. All right, the time has come to start cleaning shoes. Got a bucket of soap there, towel, uh, and then some shoes we have to clean. This stack and this stack. So not too many. So maybe if I do finish a little early, I can start taking pictures of some shoes. It is 8.04 p.m. right now. So let's see how long this takes. I'm going to guess five hours. So I'll probably be done uh, like one or two. Um, so let's see what happens. All right. I said I was going to show you guys every shoe, but this is just way too satisfying. So I kind of already started it, but this is what it looked like before. This is the same shoe. So we have some Unite 3s here. And I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but in there, dude, there's just some gnarly sock lint. This is what it's looking like so far. It's off of like half of one side. It was like the same, dude. $10 lint shaver on Amazon. Watch. In like 15 seconds. This is the most satisfying thing ever. Boom. Are you guys ready for this? Look at that. Spotless. If you guys want it, uh, it'll be down linked in the description. Uh, it's an Amazon link, so feel free. Go cop it. I mean, it's pretty good. You guys can see how much sock lint is already in there. It's fat. I definitely recommend it if you guys flip you shoes do it it's worth it because honestly no one wants dirty i don't know just sock lint looks dirty in shoes it just it makes it look a lot more worn than it is because like they don't they're not that used like barely creased it's just the sock lint really threw it off so this probably went from like a hundred dollar shoe to probably like 160 i'd say all right so it is the next day i fell asleep last night yeah, so that kind of was unfortunate. I sat in my bed for like two minutes just to look at my phone and respond to some messages, uh, and I fell asleep. But we finished a few shoes, not too, too many. Just those ones on the floor right there, and a few more in the boxes over here. So not too many. I honestly have no idea how long this video is gonna be, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Full day in my life, 24 hours, not 18, not 20, 24. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we got some good stuff. We didn't sell anything because that's just not what we did. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to, Feel free to go follow me on Instagram. You guys can go sell shoes to me or buy shoes for me. Um, I'll post them up on my story occasionally. Oh yeah, also make sure to like, comment, subscribe for the algorithm uh, to help me grow this channel so I can afford to eat. Um, so that's super amazing. See you guys in the next one. Peace. I said, baby, like, whoa, huh? I cannot feel any more. Stuck to these bands like I need me some more, yeah. I have been rolling a dojo. Everything feeling so close. Think that I need me some closure. She trying to pull up to shows. Nigga, I'm counting as dough. Hold up a fold, yeah.